Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Trust us to give you a say on EU New NSA leaks show how US is bugging its European allies Iceland's EU bid is over, Commission told Croatia joins European Union amid mixed response Plus, sugar quota feeds bitter debate ahead of cap vote I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. On Friday, MPs will vote on our country's future in Europe. It's the first time in nearly half a century that we've had a chance to change our settlement with Brussels. And if it passes, it will give Sunday Express readers the opportunity to have a referendum on Europe. The last time we had a vote on Europe was in 1975. Readers who voted back then were asked merely about an economic common market, but many of us will have been too young to vote and many others not even born at all. In that time, so much has changed. The powers of the EU have increased dramatically, the number of countries signed up has grown, and while all that has been going on, British people have had no say over the changes that have taken place. US intelligence services are spying on the European Union mission in New York and its embassies in Washington, according to the latest top-secret US National Security Agency documents leaked by the whistleblower Edward Snowden. One document lists 38 embassies and missions describing them as targets. It details an extraordinary range of spying methods used against each target, from bugs implanted in the electronic communications gear, to taps into cables, to the collection of transmissions with specialised antenna. Along with traditional ideological adversaries and sensitive Middle Eastern countries, the list of targets includes the EU missions and the French, Italian and Greek embassies, as well as a number of other American allies, including Japan, Mexico, South Korea, India and Turkey. The list in the September 2010 document does not mention the UK, Germany or other Western European states. Iceland's bid to join the EU is over, the country's foreign minister told the European Commission on Thursday. This is how democracy works, said Gunnar Bragi Svensson on his first overseas trip three weeks after being appointed to the recently elected Icelandic government. He pointed out that both parties in the new government had campaigned against EU accession. He commented that the main purpose of the trip had been to tell the Commission that the new government had made a decision to put negotiations on hold. We are part of Europe and want to strengthen our relationship in other ways, he added. Speaking during a frosty press conference with reporters on Thursday, Stefan Fuel, the Czech Commissioner responsible for EU membership bids, admitted that Iceland's decision was a personal blow. It was not easy for me as a person to take the decision, said Fool. But he added, I am also a professional and I respect without any question and any doubt the will of elected representatives and citizens. <laughs> now, are you sure, Stefan, that the Icelandic people had made the right decision? Perhaps you might like to ask them to do a rerun, like the one in Ireland. Oh, of course, until you get the right decision, that is. And the countdown began. Five, four, three, two, one. People cried in unison, raising champagne glasses, toasting and cheering as fireworks danced light on the grand buildings and cobblestones of Banjalik Square in the Croatian capital. New Year's Eve? Hardly. Instead, as the clock struck midnight on July the 1st, it was Croatians marking their country's entry into the European Union as its 28th member state. Despite the festivities on the main streets of Zagreb, many Croatians are less than thrilled over joining the bloc. While the country has come a long way since the bloody collapse of the former Yugoslavia and the war that followed, some here think that becoming part of another union of nations seems more like a return to the past and the relinquishing of their hard-won freedoms. Interesting that the people feel this way. I wonder why then they decided to join. 
Ah, <laughs> perhaps they were simply not asked. The European Commission's Sugar Management Committee has authorised the import of 584,000 tonnes of white sugar since January, nearly half the amount the EU is projected to approve this year, adding fuel to calls for the EU to scrap its long-standing protection of the domestic sugar market. With imports needed to satisfy the European sweet tooth, food and beverage companies are lining up against efforts by the European Parliament's Agriculture Committee to reverse an earlier agreement to phase out the EU's sugar quota by 2015. More tea, Mr Barroso? <laughs> One lump or two? Today in our video library, Whilst the main theme of today's story seems to thread around the idea of democracy, the application thereof and the attempts by the kleptocrats to thwart it, I felt that this short public announcement from Pat Condell was rather appropriate. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below.